you risk losing a lot when the internal drive of your Nvidia Shield Pro eventually fails. This includes permanent loss of the widewind keys required for streaming high quality content from major providers. It's not a matter of if, but when. In this video, I will show you how to back up your drive as a single image file so that you can easily restore it to a new drive if the current one fails. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is my Nvidia Shield Pro 2017 release with an internal 500 GB SSD. Unfortunately, I cannot stream high resolution premium content with this unit since I lost my widewind keys while flashing around firmwares. Today I will show you how to avoid this mistake. It doesn't matter what SSD you use, even this highly rated one by Seagate failed within a year of use on my NAS. So, whether you're using a drive from a reputable manufacturer or a no-name brand, having a backup is always wise. In order to perform a backup of the drive, we need to get it out first. Fortunately, it's not difficult to do that. Using a guitar pick, I pried open the shield by releasing the clips. By the way, if you're new here, please consider supporting the channel by liking and subscribing. The drive on my unit is the 500GB Samsung 860 EVO, which I have been using for about 5 years now. To remove the drive, we will need to first carefully unplug the SATA ribbon cable, followed by loosening of a small retention bracket. To release the ribbon cable, you need to gently lift this plastic locking tab as I have just done. After that, the cable will simply slide out. Now that the drive is out, we need to connect it to a PC using a SATA connector. I tried this USB SATA connector that I got from a drive enclosure, but it didn't work for me as the drive was not being detected. It could be that the connector was faulty. So I removed the side panel of my PC and hooked the drive temporarily. On the PC, I downloaded and installed a free program called HDD Raw Copy Tool from hddguru.com. On launching the program, you can see that our Samsung 860 EVO has been detected. Select this drive as the source and click continue. On the next page, we do not want to select another drive as a target. Instead, we want to create an image file. A window will then pop up, allowing you to name the image file you want to create. In this case, I will call it Shield Pro Backup 2025. You can call it whatever you want. Finally, click continue and then start. Wait for the process to complete. My drive with about 40 GB of music files took about 25 minutes. When the process is complete, you will find an image file in the destination you chose. The size of the image file will depend on the data on your shield drive. In my case, it was about 43.5 GB. Store the disk image file in a safe location as you will need it to restore your shield data to a new drive should the existing one fail. Use the same HDD raw copy program to write the image to the new target drive. It's as simple as that. We've successfully backed up the shield drive. I will proceed to restore the drive back to the shield. After closing up the shield, a quick test confirms that we haven't messed up anything. It boots up as usual. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you find the video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to help the channel advance. Cheers!